joining us for Beyond the Barometer to talk about the heat index. Jacob is back. So what is the heat index? Well, the answer for that question is the simple one. It's basically how the temperature feels, and it is a combination of the actual temperature and the relative humidity. And for this week especially, you should be paying attention more to that heat index rather than the actual temperature. So wind chill in reverse. Yeah, basically. So Although, when, sorry to interrupt, but the wind chill is mostly based on the wind. Obviously. The heat index is mostly based on the humidity. So when should we start worrying about the heat index? Well, really when it gets up to 90, we could see uh, some pretty... Uh, 90 degree it, temperatures. No, heat index. Heat 90 index. degree heat, okay. heat index where we can start to see some concerns. If, uh, if, we t if we pull up this graphic, it's actually a pretty nice uh, representation of what the heat index is in comparison to the dew point. So if we look at around 94, 96 degrees up at the top, that's around the temperatures we'll see. And we'll, we could get humidity values up to the mid 70s. Ooh. So we'll be right on that extreme caution to danger level. The, the, the reddish, I, I see these colors are kind of weird, but so the second level is, so it goes from caution, extreme caution, danger, and extreme danger. We're not gonna get to the extreme danger level, but we'll be, we'll be right between the extreme caution and danger level. Really, like I mentioned, once the heat uh, index are in the 90s, you should uh, begin to uh, have some precaution, but especially when it gets to, you know, 105, which it, we could get to uh, on Thursday. Thankfully, we're not gonna get into that extreme danger level. Does though. it help to go in the shade? Yes, it does, but not necessarily. The shade is mostly helpful for uh, you, for like sunburn and, you know, the rays coming down from the sun. But as far as, you know, a break from the heat, it does help a little bit, but not as much as you would think. And in fact, I had talked about how the wind is uh, the, main, the main factor when accounting for wind chill. It actually, when the temperatures get this hot, it actually makes it worse because it kind of blows the hot air towards you uh, and makes you, it makes it a, feel a little bit hotter, actually. Yeah, we've talked about this many, many times, but I think it bears repeating what people can do to help themselves with this extreme heat. Yeah, let's pull up this graphic. Uh, it has some nice bullet points. So the, the biggest one is to just stay hydrated and take breaks from the heat. But you should also possibly wear uh, light clothes, uh, even light colored clothes because white clothes reflect the sun where as dark clothes kind of absorb, absorb the heat mm -hmm. and obviously check on elderly and pets and I also want to pull up this graphic kind of showing where we'll be we'll be right but right around 105 this, now that's this is the absolute worst and it's not going to be a 105 heat index all the time but we'll, we'll be right between like I said that extreme caution to danger level heat exhaustion is possible because we're on the bottom uh, tier of that mm -hmm. danger level I would say possible rather than likely, which is what uh, the graphics shows. We'll be, like I said, we'll be right around 105 as the peak for this week, and it'll mostly be Thursday and Wednesday afternoon. And more people die from heat than any other yeah. weather phenomenon. Yeah, because, you know, it impacts the most people. You know, obviously tornadoes are horrible, but it impacts a very small area, and hurricanes, um, you know, those are those are bad as well, but it doesn't impact as many people as heat. Like us here in Madison, we don't have to deal with hurricanes. And, right. you know, even people in like northern northern Georgia, northern Alabama, parts, a good portion of Texas, they don't have to deal with hurricanes. But almost everyone has to deal with heat unless you're really far north or really far south for the South Pole. And it's 150 days till the first day of winter. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we have been thankful so far this yeah, we've looked year. out. Mm -hmm. uh, and even this heat wave, like, it's going to be short-lived. It's going to be pretty bad, but it's not, It's like I said, it's going to be pretty short-lived. So uh, by the time we get okay. to next week, it'll be a lot better. Nothing like Texas or Florida or mm -hmm. Arizona. They're going to continue to see that for next yeah. week, unfortunately. Worse. Yeah. All right. Thanks for taking us Thank beyond you. the barometer. You're welcome.